Good morning, friends. We are here at Kaneohe Bay. Had a very, very glassy, calm night on the hook. This anchorage is so well protected, and we're in a very rare time here at Kaneohe where there's like no trade winds blowing. So it's very still and there's no clouds. You see the mountains are totally free of cloud cover. It's impossible for me to capture how stunningly beautiful this mountain range is. But, that's crazy, <laughs> so pretty. Um, and the water is like mirrored. And um, today, this morning, gonna go on a dinghy adventure with Kimberly. We're gonna head up to the north end of the bay and see what there is to see. Um, and uh, yeah, poke around over there. There's also like a secret sort of beach over there. We'll see how far we can go with our dinghy, but i um, gonna go explore more here in Kaneohe Bay on Oahu. And um, I look forward to hitting a couple different anchorage spots in this bay and uh, seeing what it's all about. Definitely, the, the scenes here in Hawaii are completely insane. And um, I feel like it's just a, a small taste of what's to come once I get into the South Pacific. So I'm making breakfast right now. Pancakes. Um, I want to show you guys this pancake mix. Probably have it other places, but I think everywhere, most places other than America have this just add water pancake mix, but I'm not sure. This is Hawaiian specific, this brand anyway. Just add water and then you have these like easy pancakes. It's awesome. And it's just like a cup of water for this whole bag. Normally when I'm by myself, I just make half the bag. Um, but we're gonna eat a whole bag because pancakes. So yeah, check this out for bow food. I'm gonna stock up on this in Hawaii before I, I uh, when I provision to do my next big passage because this is such a nice treat on the boat. Coming up, we're just some random reef over here by the sandbar. Sandbar is jumping off today, it's a Saturday. It's beautiful out, it's clear, the sun is high in the sky. I think we're gonna get in and scope this reef. We only have like between half and a quarter tank of fuel left, so we don't wanna go too deep into the bay. The bay is, I think, seven miles wide. So, let's see what this reef is all about. See um, if we can see some new critters that we didn't see yesterday. And then um, we'll probably pop back out to check out the sandbar again to see what it's like at whatever tide we're at right now. Um, look at the mountains though. Crazy, beautiful. Let's do it, get underwater.
pretty so got this beautiful what is he call what are you calling it it's a sea urchin a collector urchin a pin cushion urchin it's the skeletal remains so of it's it. called a test yeah a test yeah. is what you're calling it and what yeah. were you telling us about this well uh, you said you can put a light in it right yeah so if you look through this and you can see these Let's hold it, know, see yeah see can. if you can hold it through see all those little you can't really see Try, it with the yeah, sun. Yeah, but. well, so they'll have all these little teeny little tiny holes in here. And they have these uh, tubercles, they're called, which are their way that they move and taste. And they go through all these little tiny holes. And that's holes. what you saw underwater in the footage. They got stuff stuck yeah. to them. I felt bad for them. You yeah. called them Do they do it on cushion? purpose? No, they do it on purpose, those collector urchins. Oh. They gather things. Oh, collector, that collector, makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so okay. they ha gather things not only to maybe be camouflaged, but also they think to protect from the sun, maybe. Some, oh, some interesting. Yeah. It's like a hat. Yeah, I mean they're gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen hat. Yeah, cool. And then you said these are the ones that people eat here. Yeah, yeah, the uni. You can mm -hmm. eat the inside at sushi restaurants. Once they get to a certain size, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So cool. Look at their colors though. So pretty. I think it's, I'm not 100%, but I think it's a purple tuxedo. That's the type. Okay, I'm going to look it up. Really beautiful though. I'm stoked. Nice one, James. Yeah, you can see his little bones inside. I wonder if it was an octopus that got him. We're gonna head back out to the Saturday sandbar and see what the party's at out there. One James Power engine. <laughs> the sandbar is very, very unusual. I look forward to bringing Tritea here, but it is. Big party scene on the weekends. Further down, somebody had a volleyball net set up. Saw some creepy Ugh. weird underwater arm things.
Black Contritea. And um, awesome, awesome mission today. Checked out a lot of stuff. And um, does anybody know what those very disturbing intestine worm things are? They're very creepy. They look like Cthulhu or something, some H.P. Lovecraft invention. But they're just happily living in the sand. Other than that, it's like, what was the best things? That we saw? Hmm. Big, big, big turtles. Big turtles! That one monster, we saw two monster turtles, yeah. and then you saw a tiny turtle. Very teeny. Yeah. I like the, um, the way those worm things are feeding. Yeah. Very weird. Yeah. But the rest of them look no bueno. Um, yeah, so it was a good day. Good day. Yeah. No mantas. We saw that one eagle ray. Yeah. We saw that more eel. Yeah. So, awesome. Good day of adventure. Now it's time for lunch, lunch, lunch. Okay, so, adventure with killer. <laughs> adventure with Kimberly is done today. Now she heads off to the big island for how long? Six weeks. Six week uh, job. Two jobs, right? Two jobs. And yeah. then we'll tell them what you're doing. The first job I'll be working with Cascadia Research Collective studying false killer whales and offshore populations of various whale and dolphin species. So she said they'll be taking the dinghy off and like like filming them every day to to set you sex them? No, we don't have, we have a rib. We have a 30, uh, six foot rib we, we so we, we are taking that every single every single day we're looking for population size and distribution and every once in a while we'll deploy and look for sexes in the water but that's oh. low priority yeah my main job is and all of our job is to get individual photos and then deploy the drone for population assessment like numbers and how right. they're distributed so yeah she said they like she flies she <clears throat> launch she's a professional drone pilot she launches the drone off the, the rib and then you know so they do that that's our day in and you know every that's your day to day mm -hmm. And um, then you go back, process the footage and all yeah, that Yeah, every day, yeah. And then your second job? Second job is doing um, drone work as well, but this is with spinner dolphins to help. I guess we're testing out outreach material to get folks to stop harassing spinner dolphins. And I'll be flying the drone to watch how that material is working or not working. So like the spinner dolphins, the new MMA, the Marine Mammal Protection Act, right? Yeah. Um, just went into play and um, spinner dolphins sleep in the daytime and they, they swim as they sleep. So the problem is like people want to see them. So they're harassing them while they need to rest and they feed at night. So it's a bad situation with like different boats that are being, you know, boats are even people who aren't being responsible and letting them get rest. Um, yeah. So really it, it puts them in a fatigue situation and can affect their numbers. Mm -hmm. So with the new Marine Mammal Protection Act, that's what you guys are doing, right? Yeah, is to yeah. see how it's, you're documenting to see how it's changing and then a year from now you'll probably come back and do it again and right. to see if it's different right exactly so exactly. important work and um, i'll put links to those organizations that she works for but we had a great day exploring Kaneohe bay so thank beautiful. you so much thank for you coming. James. we had a blast and uh yeah thanks for watching this video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment that's not our boat making that sound <laughs> um and uh hit me up with any questions down below and i'll 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 respond to anything i can and if I don't know the answer, then I'll have Kimberly respond. And um, yeah, and hopefully I'm gonna go to the Big Island while she's there and film the work they're doing yeah. to show you guys what they're up to. So, but that's a ways down the way. So, thank you. Thanks, James. Fair winds until next time. <laughs>